The top story this hour, Iran dismissing Israeli accusations that it was involved in an attack on an Israeli-owned oil tanker off the coast of Oman late on Thursday. We condemn the Israeli comments. The regime should know that leveling such accusations leads them nowhere. Hesitate to defend the interests of its people and its national security. Khatibzad added that the Israeli allegations are completely baseless. He noted that the regime is the root cause of insecurity in the region. The regional players back in Israel are responsible for such insecurity. The U.S. said on Friday that the attack on the Israeli affiliated ship was carried out by a drone. Washington and Tel Aviv immediately blamed Iran for the incident without providing any evidence. But resistance sources told Iran's Al Alam Arabic News Network that the attack was in retaliation for a recent deadly Israeli air raid on an airport in Syria's western Qusayr region. Now, from Sydney, I'm joined by Tim Anderson, writer and director of the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies. Good to have you with us, sir. So uh, what's your uh, reading of this? Uh, as the uh, Iranian foreign ministry official said, wherever the Tel Aviv regime sets foot in, there is insecurity, there is violence and everything, yet they, uh, whatever happens around the world, they blame Iran for that. Well, the Israelis certainly have plenty of enemies. Um, they've been attacking Syria, uh, Lebanon, Iraq, um, subversively Iran, they're involved in subversion against Yemen. So there's a number of enemies who are not very happy with the idea of Israeli shipping going into the Persian Gulf. That, of course, there is a reason to suspect Iran because Israel itself has attacked at least a dozen Iranian ships in the last two years, according to the Wall Street Journal earlier this year, and Israeli media have reported that too. So there's a very uh, open, semi-open type of hostility going on there.